But all of the mothers that are here, I want you to know that you cannot leave all mothers, aunts, godmothers. I have something very special for you. In the uh, prayer after service is over. By way of announcements, we want you all to remember that we're here every Sunday at 11 a.m. in the sanctuary. Every Sunday at 11 a.m. Every Wednesday, Bible class at 7 p.m. Every Thursday, our Women's Power Praise and Prayer Conference Line at 7 with our host, Sister Cynthia Gaylor. We want you to know that the fourth Sunday of this month, somebody say May 22nd. May 22nd. I want to make sure that everybody here is really, really good. We're going to have our first Family and Friends Day in 2022.
and resume your creating tomorrow. The Lord said, I can't do it. I'm close to creating someone very much like myself. I've already come up with a model who can yeah. pray for herself when she's sick. Who can feed a family with six, a family of six with one pound of hamburger. And who can persuade a nine-year-old to take a shower. Y'all messing with me today. Then the angel looked at the model mother who a little more closely and said, she is too soft. Oh, but she is tough. Yes. You'd be surprised at how much this mother can do. Can she think? Ask the angel. Not only can she think, said the Lord, but she can reason, she can compromise, and she can persuade. Matthew says that 
she bowed before him and made her request. When you establish your kingdom, I want one on the left and I want one on the right. Don't leave my babies out. Don't leave them out. How many mothers can say, don't leave my don't, don't lie. Don't leave my babies out. I work too hard for this. I work too hard to help develop some of this character. Now some of them may have some characters like they daddy, but and, and it ain't all bad. Don't get no take it on. Come on. Mothers and with fathers setting the example and pray. 
praying for their children that they might be involved in the work of the kingdom as teachers and leaders as disciples of Christ that they may be the ones who come to the world and find the lost and see that the church continues until Jesus returns. It amazes me how much time and money parents will spend involving their children in so many outside activities. But then we forget to bring them to church and when we do it as important enough to put them in a choir, uh, to have them active on the youth uh, department, or to bring them to Christian education. I'm a product, can I talk about me for a second? Yeah. I'm a product of being in everything that the church offers, literally. And if we grew up together, I should choir, youth department, Sunday school, you name it, we've done it. And we had no choice. There was no get up in the morning. Mom, I don't think I, I want to go. I remember when I thought I was grown to me. I had my own job. I had my own car. Making my own money. And I decided that I didn't want to go to the church that I was going to at the time anymore. So I was going to take a break. So I got up that Sunday and said, Mom, I'm not going to church. She said, oh, yes, you are. I mean, I'm going to go to church. She said, you don't have to go to this church, but you are going to church. Everybody give another this book, and y'all go to me twice. And then the difference there or not was different. Being involved in the work of God's kingdom and the things of God is not important. But can I warn you that only what you do for Christ, y'all better talk back. Yeah.
Your prayer is not in vain. Your living life is not in vain. And even when it seems like your children are going astray, pull them back in the prayer. What do you mean, baby? You get on your knees and call their names and they call them. Keep calling them.